Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're meeting me for the first time and today, without any further ado, we are checking out this, this device from Zite and I think it's going to be a very affordable solution to media that is. Ready? I reviewed one of their products before and it was for the Pocket 6K Pro, um, 4K and 6K. That is the SSD to C fast card adapter. You could check out the video to learn more. But this time, this is for the Ursa, but the interesting thing is this one can record two slots. It has two slots because the camera has two slots. So many people don't know that the same company, this company, CC Tech, is the same as Zite. They just changed names. So um, they used to have one of these products back in the days, like some years back, and it was called the CC Tech Converter Adapter. The good thing about this thing is that it can mount on your VMAT uh, plate that comes with the Ursa. It also has a slot for you to mount another V-mount. Okay, let me explain. And um, it's portable. That's that's good news, first of all. It looks like the size of a average size VMAT battery. It's got this, um, it's got the VMAT battery lock to pin, to clamp, and then it's got the mount for you to add your VMAT battery. So let's do that now. Nothing else comes, nothing else is there. Just the device ready to go. Okay. Just a little push and we are there. Okay, a little bit of force. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah, that's what exactly what I want. I want, you know, a deliberate opening. Okay, this edge is a little bit sharp. Watch out. Two slots inside. What else is there? The DC out. We could actually get power from there and it says 14.8 uh, out interesting now we look at this we have um yeah, my eyes i struggle with the close stuff now somebody's getting old 16 to 16.8 to 12 volts i thought it should be 12 volts to 16.8 well, that's what they wrote, DC 16.8 to 12 volts. And then we have the D-tap. And next to it is uh, the maximum is uh, 50 watts. D-tap maximum fixed 50 watts. This is for the Ursa, so this is made for the Ursa. This, we have a power light here, which will come on when it is powered. So the power is actually gonna come from this um, CFAS slots that goes into the camera. So let's bring the camera now and let's try this out. Um, these are the cards, Samsung. And scan this. I'll put the list in the description, but let's mount this thing. So, for me, this is the best way to be um, smart, like in terms of you know, ergonomics, like the way it hangs on to this system. It is lightweight. I'll probably check the weight and write it on the screen. But it's very, it's, I mean, pretty light. I'm gonna put this on. Snug. For portable battery. This one is this guy from Andy Cine. Um, portable you might want to go with small sizes like this um, it's got two D tap at the top two D tap ports depending on your needs you might, that might work for you and um, one USB okay now we got it snug so at the end of the day let's take a look at the entire rig let's move it backwards um, not 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 much weight difference. Monitor is still there. 
um, I'm changing this monitor we'll talk about that in another video but well the next option for VMAT battery is uh, this guy that I talked about in another video that is uh, like a power bank and VMAT battery at the same time you know so this guy is here it's portable as well all right we got it snug same thing same weight but if you want to go intermediate you can also rock with this guy which is from uh, Yin Chen the 135 this is a lot more power and that will still not add much weight to this okay so that's the setup same almost the same weight nothing different you know I'm supposed to hold from the top here no same thing okay so not much difference let's test the device let's put in the uh, cards one in the light is already on that's enough power so actually you could you could keep one in and still use that and use only that slot but both will give you access to the two slots here we go okay okay Samsung and it goes in this way one slot one Samsung goes into slot one and two SanDisk goes into slot slot two and cover it up let's turn the power on and a test uh, zoom is going to go on card one first and we are good simple it's recording 12k easy let's see the highest frame rate on this 12k 40 it looks like we are good on 12k 40 and um, 12 to 1 compression so that's that's the limit 12k 40 at uh, 12 to 1 compression it's going smooth okay now let's go to 8k and see what's the what slow motion we options we have there 8k we can get up to 120 okay so that's good 18 to 1 compression 8k 120 i can i can work with that so let's take a look at the camera is this going to be a problem for you? So, what did we learn? Now here are some things that I um, discovered. I suspect that my card, the um, Samsung card, has been uh, acting out lately. It won't record even 4K. You know, when I, when I did the first test, it could record the Samsung uh, uh, Evo, Evo one terabyte. It could record every format, every slow motion format on the 12K. Sweet. It was. I have all the. I have all the clips, um, and it recorded every format available on that camera, on the also 12K. By the way, this is my first vlog with the A7 IV, and um, I'm loving autofocus. I've never, ever ever tested autofocus this good i'm still learning and testing the camera so that i can do a proper review for myself and the sandys kept working uh, properly as usual after the update of the camera but the samsung did not so when i tried to research i found out that this sd ssds can be updated and maybe that will be the situation so i'm going to update that and uh, get back to you but however, without the update yet, when I did put it on the ZT or CC Tech, 
um, unit adapter, as a CFAST to SSD adapter. The Sandix that couldn't work on its own now could play, now could record 12K up to 12, you know, um, 12K up to uh, 12 to 1 compression at 60, uh, at 40 frames per second, you know. So it's like probably it's back. I don't know if it's limited by that or something is wrong, but maybe courtesy of this um, unit. It could, it could override the problems from the Samsung. I don't know, but it, it's recording once again and everything looks good. I'm still going to upgrade. I'm still going to update the uh, firmware of that uh, SSD. And uh, let me know in the comments if you did know that you could upgrade, upgrade SSDs. I didn't know. But the good thing is that with or without the update, via this device my ssd is working very well my um, sata samsung is working very well the sandig is still working very well i can switch between two, both of them and then it, it looks like a good investment to me all right let me know what you guys thought is this something you want to invest in like it wouldn't make the rig too heavy for you i like it because it's gonna it's a lot cheaper and it's not like some and it's not like i'm running uh, a wire a uh, 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 cable on the unit that makes it look uh, ugly or you know unprofessional this still looks very professional it looks like it's part of the rig what the price is about 300 290 something and the ssds are about uh, maybe a terabyte would be like a hundred bucks so if you get two of them, 200 bucks, you already have two terabytes. Meanwhile, this thing can take up to four terabytes in each, um, four terabytes in each slot, which means you can have eight terabytes recording, even though I wouldn't want to do that. I like to keep it like one terabyte each. I like to swap up just so I don't have volume disappearing if something goes wrong at the same time. So let's say our budget is the same price, cost of the, um, uh, Angel Bird, Angel Bird uh, SD card, that's about 660, something like that, uh, less than 700, but let's just say six, let's say 640, all right? 640 is our budget. You could either go that route and get one terabyte of SSD, which is not enough. You need something else to swap out. You could do two SSDs at uh, 120, 1,250 or 1,300, there about. You could do it uh, two and then switch between those two and you're good. But here's, here, here's, the, here's the great part. The device is less than 300 bucks, let's say 300. And um, two SSDs, let's say 120 each, will be 540. 120 um, times two will be 240. 240 plus um, the 300 will be 540. 540, yeah? And that's the way we're already at uh, two terabytes now. And we are already below the initial budget of that SD card. So you can see, before we spend up to $1,000, we already have 10 gigabytes storage value, okay? So it is, it's no brain, it's a cheaper way. I mean, the, 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 the C-Fast card is always gonna be more convenient because it's just gonna be in there and this part will not be there. But if you weigh the cost, <laughs> the cost is a lot heavier than this machine. This is a good one for me, it's a win-win for me. I know I'm gonna save a lot of money and put, you know, have money saved for other important things for my movie okay so guys that's it thank you guys for watching let me know if you like this device like subscribe share comment and i'll see you guys in the next one peace